Hello there, and welcome to another episode of The Living Word, a quarter hour we sincerely hope of both pleasure and profit. Martial music gets us off on the right foot, exhilarating music by the Salvation Army Band, a vigorous processional entitled Heroes of the Combat. <laughs> of the combat, the impressive music of a marching army. I knew the composer of that music, he's passed on now, but when he penned those notes, he envisioned a marching host of men and women, caught in the middle of the battle of life, but pressing on to nobility and truth, to achievement and spiritual destiny. And speaking of destiny as well as destination, here's the male quartet to remind us in the manner of the spiritual that this world is not my home. This world is not my home, I'm just a passing through. My treasures are laid on somewhere beyond the blue. The angels beckon me from heaven's open door, and I can't feel at home in this world anymore. Oh, Lord, you know, you know I have no friend like you. If heaven's not my home, then Lord, what will I do? The angels beckon me from heaven's open door, and I can't feel at home in this world anymore. They're all expecting me, and that's one thing I know. My Savior pardoned me, and now I would go. I know he'll take me through, though I am weak and poor, and I can't feel at home in this world anymore. Heaven's not my home, then Lord, what will I do? The angels beckon me from heaven's open door, and I can't feel at home in this world anymore. Just up in glory land, we'll live eternally. The saints on every hand are shouting victory. Their song of sweetest praise drifts back from heaven's shore, and I can't feel at home in this world anymore. Oh, Lord, oh, Lord, I have no friend like you. If heaven's not my home, then, Lord, what will I do? The angels beckon me from heaven's open door, and I can't feel at home in this world anymore. lively singing with significance. That's the kind of singing I like. I also like reading that has significance. That's why we so often refer to the Bible as the living word. It has divine significance. Take this story, for example, recorded in the Gospel according to St. Luke. And he said also unto his disciples, there was a certain rich man which had a steward, and the same was accused unto him that he had wasted his goods. 
And he called him and said unto him, How is it that I hear this of thee? Give an account of thy stewardship, for thou mayest be no longer steward. Then the steward said within himself, What shall I do? For my Lord taketh away from me the stewardship. I cannot dig. To beg I am ashamed. I am resolved what to do, that when I am put out of the stewardship, they may receive me into their houses. So he called every one of his Lord's debtors unto him. And he said unto the first, How much owest thou unto my Lord? And he said, An hundred measures of oil. And he said unto him, Take thy bill, and sit down quickly, and write fifty. Then said he to another, And how much owest thou? An hundred measures of wheat. And he said unto him, Take thy bill, and write fourscore. One of my officer friends thinks that this parable of the unjust steward is an excellent example of what we call in these days using pull. This steward tried to make his future secure by getting on the right side of his boss's debtors. He aimed to make himself popular. He pulled the strings all right. Pull is a slang word meaning the power that gets you there sometimes. And that's what the average man wants, to get there. Books tell us that when pagan priests wanted their own way, they appealed to the oracle. Common folk were gullible then, as now. The lips of the famous oracle at uh, Delphi would move, even speak, and the multitude would be impressed with the thought that the gods had favored them with counsel. The explanation was that some foxy priest was versed in the art of ventriloquism. He answered his own questions, but the illiterate mistook the voice for that of deity. It pays to keep people dumb if you're in the oracle business. Pull is a curse. It frequently puts small men in big jobs without regard to merit. Others, by flattery and nicely buttered sentences, ingratiate themselves with their foreman, or chief clerk, or immediate superior. This, of course, means a selling out of self-respect. Pathologists tell us that myxedema is a disease in which the patient becomes monkey-like with swollen face, scanty hair, scaly skin, and dull brain. It is caused by that small gland in the neck, the thyroid, becoming atrophied. When this fails to produce its vital secretion, the victim sickens, becomes monkey-like, and dies. There is a similar disease of the soul, a myxedema of the inner man. It smites the disciple of pull. Without the eternal secretion, the spiritual milk of the word, the soul becomes monkey-like, a silly mimic, and dies. Dies a victim of covetousness for honors that were skin deep. An undisturbed diet of God's word is the sure antidote for that form of craving, which makes men stoop to the level of getting there by pull. Unfortunately, it is true that the scrupulous man will not always come away with the swag, but he will possess peace of mind. He will know that he is clean, and he will possess the love and admiration of many people. The man who thinks he is rising by pull is mistaken. He has lost his sense of direction. In the ultimate, pull only takes one downward.
was one of the world's greatly loved gospel hymn tunes. Probably you recall the words of the refrain as the Salvation Army Band played the tune. And I shall see him face to face and tell the story saved by grace. That story of saving grace is often on the lips of the Christian. In fact, I have a feeling it should be on mine right now. Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Oh, what a foretaste of glory divine. Heir of salvation, purchase of God, born of his spirit, washed in his blood. This is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior. Now, let us pray. O oh God, our Father, we pray that the joy and peace that we possess because we have been saved by thy grace may come to all who will look to thee in repentance and faith. For that one who shares this moment of prayer with us, but in whose heart there is a special need, we ask thy special blessing. In the name of thy Son and our Savior, Jesus Christ, our Redeemer and Lord. Amen. Be sure and join us again when we seek to learn more of the living word and of him who is in very truth, the living word. Mm -hmm.